Speak faith not despair. Romans chapter 10 verses 6 through 10. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above or who will descend into the abyss that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. that is the word of faith which we preach that if you confess with your mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation the apostle paul in these verses of scripture is quoting from the old testament deuteronomy the 30th chapter and he is reminding uh the believers here understand the power and the importance and the nearness of speaking the word of god he says don't speak despair don't speak saying who is going to go up to heaven and bring christ down to save us and deliver us and uh, you know uh, rescue us from our situation or don't say who's going to raise jesus up from the dead as though he was dead and he was not alive uh, not able to help us But then he points us to what God had put in place in the Old Testament. He says God has already said the word is near you. That word which we preach, the word of faith, it's in your heart and it's in your mouth. And we want to remind us as believers about the importance of this truth of speaking God's word by out of a believing heart. And so Paul reminds us here. He says, "Look, the word is near you. In any situation, any circumstance, don't speak despair as though Jesus is so far away in heaven, he can't help you, or as though he's dead and never rose up from the dead. Don't speak despair. But remember God's word is near you. That promise that God made, it's right there. It's in your heart and it's in your mouth. And then in relation to the gospel, he says, this word of faith, the gospel of Jesus Christ which we are preaching, If you just believe that in your heart, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you confess him with your mouth that is you declare the gospel, you declare what Christ did for you on the cross, you will experience the the power of the gospel. You'll experience salvation. You'll experience Jesus coming in to be your savior, your healer, your deliverer, your redeemer, everything he came to be simply by believing this word of faith. and speaking that word the word of faith which is the gospel the the message of Jesus Christ who he is what he's done so that word is near us and if we believe in our heart the word of god and we speak that word with our mouth the word of faith the gospel the message that god has given to us then we will experience that word in this case you'll experience the power of the gospel or any promise of god concerning healing that word concerning healing is in near you it's in your heart for you to believe that word and for it's it's in your mouth for you to speak that word that promise of healing and when we do that according to the passage of scripture here we begin to experience what was promised to us in that word so remember the word is near you believe it in your heart speak it in your with your mouth speak the word not despair let's pray together father we pray that we will be encouraged in every situation to know that the word of god is near us it's in our heart it's in our mouth for us to believe it and for us to say it help us to speak your word knowing that we will see your word come into action in our lives when we do so i pray and release lord the power of god to touch every person listening to experience the power of your word in Jesus name amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org